Jacob the slowest, but Jacob's going to get the inside and going to be able to take it into turn one, taking the lead, keeping it side by side. Clean, though. No DRS, though. So it's going to be pure pace. Real well, you know, again, that strategy just set right. The Williams garage is going to be quite ecstatic for that great start. But Edu and Jacob are getting away pretty cleanly. <laughs> thinking about it for sure. And guys, just a word from the pit lane. We've got Gwen Sanders and Voids both in the pits and co the penalty points getting closer to that Rolex time penalty award. And we've got a virtual safety car with Glenn. Uh, Glenn Benito. did not have a good start in Q3. Six. Also, drivers and driver the herd sensible don't go well together. But uh, sorry, go build a bulldog. Also, another driver that has just pitted again is avoiding going on the rear of this race. In the middle of this race, the <laughs> yeah. mid pack is going to be the feisty section for sure. As you can see, Finier, the late Aston Martin, join in. We had uh, Dan's filling in for him. He was able to show this up. This is the, the second track. DRS zone come for the Ferrari here. So if you get a good exit, you could get it. But remember, it's very short. You kind of get there going, okay, I've definitely got him. And then all of a sudden, the corner comes up, but he's, he's committing. And he's, and he's going for it. He did just send it into the time penalty ward and is able to keep it on the track, but does retire. Yeah, unfortunately, his Rolex is broken. And that will he be the will Red Bull. He will not be up. receiving the Rolex. <laughs> Yeah, we're pushing for that Rolex. Come on. <laughs> if you back out of turn one and two, you actually can cross the timing line behind the driver and actually get DRS. Jacob's got ahead, but EDU should have Tixie not turning in zone, not doing a Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton situation. And that's also bringing the Red Bull of Jacob into this party of four. Yeah, this is going to be trying to push to make uh, another person join this feisty group of, of another DRS train. As Jacob's going to be ahead still, but Tiggsy's going to be charging right behind. Only three tenths riding on board with him. You just watch that closing speed with the DRS. Yeah. Tiggsy closing in. Now tenth and a half. He's going to go side by side. Does he get ahead of the, by the turn? He does. He makes it clean. Tiggsy now our race leader. That is a nether race lead change within only eight From laps. 17th place Ooh, to 7th. Sorry, sorry to cut you yeah. off, but Jacob's the slowest, or Jacob has got passion, is able to take overtake Tigsy, but as we talked about, that timing line's halfway through the S, and Tigsy's going to get that DRS to re-overtake. Got to get something done, doesn't he? He's, he's, qu he's the quickest man on track. He's the fastest lap. Started in P17, running in P7, wanting to go quicker. He's just got a couple of cars up the road. Just get past him, man. Um, it's unfortunate. Okay. At the front of the grid, Tiggsy pulling in a three-second time penalty. That is not what you want to see. Uh, but battling voids, though, for the Rolex Tiggsy. time penalty. Will he back out, though? I think Jacob knows smarter now. He's going to back out. Just make sure that Tiggsy crosses the line ahead of him, as you can see there. And now Jacob, even though if he was overtake through there, would have the DRS, the DRS straight. They all both overtake Tiggsy. And now Jacob is going to be ahead of Edu, ahead of Tiggsy. This is going to be a back and forth battle throughout this entire race. Uh, as he's now getting pushed around by Fenrir on the softs, though. Uh, if he Nick can last a little bit longer with Acti, Fenrir was going to be having to drop off and pit, leaving Nick and Acti kind of alone together. We're going to see a rerun of what's going to occur into turn one through the center races. And if you don't get it done there, you've got the Retro Apostle straight coming up in a second. Yeah, the Red Pasta is going to be the biggest section for a lot of these drivers. You can get yeah. on the first straight, and that second straight is where you really just yank them dry. Oh, there it is. We had to wait 12 laps, but the fishing references are out from one shock. They're, they're here. They're here. Interesting, guys. Fenner is going those tires, to... Those tires currently beat Chew through about 42% on your front right. So only a couple more laps. There's a yellow for somebody. Fenner's car did spin... As we see EDU trying to fake a dummy move onto Jacob's Got Passion. The Ferrari driver is quite smart and is trying to play as much as he can and uh, to keep in second. He doesn't want to let Tiggsy so over. See a couple of warnings being slapped next to their names in the live racing time table of the telemetry software that I have. So, yes, it's still early days. Last thing you ever do when you tell your drivers, forget the penalties. Just race, race, race and see what happens at the end. For sure, as they're able to last a while, as we can see, Voids is on the hard. They they are doable for the race, but they're not a great racing tire. As Edu's challenging, Jacob's got passion. Side the light of Jacob is flashing. That is all the information the Ferrari Garage needs to know where the Mercedes of Jacob's got passion is right now with that ERS management. Target down that main straight right now. 
Yeah, with no ERS, that is a big, big hit, especially on a track where there's two DRS straights back to back. Is Edu? Edu is going to be the first one into the. It's going to pull the undercut uh, with Jacob the slowest and Yami. Sorry to cut you off, Bulldog, uh, but that is some that is some race changing news. Going for the undercut as Biggles you mentioned that very powerful here at Interlagos. Going to the hards though. And that uh, Jacob got passion. Tixi and Duffolf, and they're going at it again, aren't they? Jacob and Tixi. Oh, Duffolf might have got through there. Did he? Duffolf got through, and I think yeah, Tixi was. Tixi was pushed off. You don't, you don't see much uh, reaction from Finnish drivers, do you? But at the moment, Tixi's reaction is not a happy campo. No, for sure. And it's completely understandable. Uh, you want to be given some racing room. All the time, you must leave you the also space. see that Tixi's not having the best of uh, laps because he is just spinning like there is no tomorrow. He's yeah, given up. Looks like Dan's yeah. and Jacob's got passion. The next of the front runners into the pits both fitting me uh, would have oh can he get out ahead no. can jacob get out ahead of edu i think he just did so yes look at that he got out ahead of the massive train behind them and there's yami it's going yami. around yami has yes. actually the run out of the pit stops and here we go jacob the slowest getting tailed by defoe now it's going to be close though defoe it's still within yes yeah, so, that has paid off go ahead gwen sanders has gone around too guys Oh, unfortunate, unfortunate for him. He's got some pace. Unfortunately, he's sitting P11. Some big pressure he's on those hards, so it's going to be considerably slower than the mediums. Duff. And we can see Defoe it and Jacob the Slowest just going side by side, and Defoe is able to squeeze by Jacob the Slowest. Uh, and out of shocking surprise, Edu. Yeah, around the 65 uh, mark for the tire, for the front tires. 72, really tires 72 around. front right oh, for acting. Yeah, but, Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, front right is uh, 72, but oh, also has a Sorry to cut you guys off, but Jacob the Slow, or Jacob's got passion, has passed um, Folkways in the DRS straight. The DR, uh, that DRS light was flashing, though, for that McLaren, or for the Mercedes. Safety car. And we have a full course safety any, car. Front right, sorry. you, uh, you got to get rid of it under a safety car. It's a cheap pit stop. Nick they will slide has back gone out. to the softs, and so is Acti. EDU going on to the mediums, I believe, some fresh ones. Maybe the Ferrari team. This is... Keeping the time on time, mate. Here That's we go. what it is. From race control, <laughs> it is official from the Michael Massey himself uh, that the safety car is in. And now we see Jacob the Slowest just backing up the grid as much as he can. Yeah, Jacob the Slowest just getting ahead of Defoe, possibly. It's going to be a quite a big side by side pack. Kind of like NASCAR deer. Oh, and there goes Nick. Oh, yeah, yeah. Midfield, midfield action is always spicy again under that safety car, which usually breeds safety cars. Oh, look at that <laughs> side by side action with Folkways and, and drivers. Dan. He's in a McLaren sandwich. Good, Santa's got really loving this race restart, isn't he? Because he just got past Eagle. He's saying, My and friend, to... the McLaren has landed. Go ahead. Yeah, and he's trying to make quick work of the S's, but this action between Gun Santa and Danza and Eagle are there. It's dropping back a little bit from Folkways. But here we go. Dan's got a good run here. The hill. Running yeah. on board. Look at that. You can see the wing just barely almost touch Dan's. That is a close battle between those two. But look at this. Acti is some big points. And he's now capitalizing when he can. Possibly able to get himself in the prime position to win. 25 free points. He should be able to, but we'll see. There it is. It is official. DRS for all drivers is now enabled as Acti makes the pass, makes it clean ahead of Jacob's Got Passion. Acti should be able to run away with this a little bit. Yeah, that's if Acti can bring those tires to the end of this race too, or could they Look come at back? That. Acti's already out of DRS. That is huge for him, able to run away just a little bit faster. He's going to take the overtaking award. Oh, got too many sponsors now. <laughs> yeah, we got too many to remember. Quan Center able to make it quickly past EDU, but he needs to very quickly as Falcoways is making it up to the has three. hit the wall, guys, and retired. And Jacob's and disconnected, been, too, on top of that one. Which is one of the race? I don't know. Are they going to do a Red Bull strategy or a Mercedes strategy in this call right now with 10 laps to go, which will really be about eight once the safety car comes back in? Well, our pit 
wall master here, Bulldog. Why don't we get your insight? What do we expect to see some of these drivers? The oldest tires out on the grid at the moment. I think he answered your question right there, my friend. He's in the pits. There you go. That is quite a late call. That is definitely a headphone throw indeed, as Defoe is going to be looking to get a, quite a good restart on to Acti. And they're just going. Acti waited all the way. Ferrari of EDU up into P4. And Nick, again, spun into the S's. Him in the S's with traffic does not seem to go hand in hand. Around those medium tires on Defoe are going to be crying as they are going to be outclassed to some fresher softs. Climbing up the hill, no DRS. Go ahead, Bulldog. Yeah. Acti and EU are sitting in the perfect position at the moment because they're only 10 points behind of the likes of Dane the Dangerous and Wallow. Xander as well, look at that, P2. Carlos now trying to get past Defoe. That is P3 for Carlos. And now Guan Sander has a mission to close in to Amir in the right-hand side. As we see Jacob DeSlos just going right around him. But Defoe it is just keeping a nose in. And that's a little contact between the two. And that is the two off. And that is a big accident between those drivers. Well, it's a carbon fiber. And, and that's practically four wide for a lot of these drivers. And that is huge. That is a massive gap that Folkways now has to close in to the front grid or the front three they're now well oh no that thing again coca-cola i'm sorry oh. you, just, you just pepsied it into and the that wolf. is yeah that's 100 we... percent uh <laughs> no wing on yeah. uh, he's back in action my friend on the back of jacob slobs it definitely got some damage uh, jacob did box so i don't think jacob did get anything but look at this run into the center races Oh my yeah, god. Guan Sander is full quiz. is not going to be able to close up to that pack. They are screaming away. And look at Tigsy just close in. You can see that, just that climb. What a camera angle right there. Yeah, I got the helicopter camera angle, and you got another bro. Again, Damn. all the guys on the fresh rubber want to get past because they're the quickest. And Falkways is the biggest blocker. And what we might see is into the literal two, three dying laps of this race as well. It is a tight three-way battle on the oh and that's Volko way spinning around been, he has been sent all the way to the back of that pack where we must have had some of the and if he doesn't Carlos will make a run Carlos is right behind him kid Carlos follow Guan Sander through and get past Acti that is big but now they are going side by side and look at that Carlos now in the span of one Good sector is now going from P3 to P1. What a change they of They can hold off, can't they? They can hold them off because Tigsy's two seconds down the road there from Acti now. And yeah. time is not on his side because he's also got a couple of penalties. And Coke is trying to run away with this time penalty award, I'd like to say. 12 seconds now. He is really trying to pull the gap to any other driver. For sure. Sauce. Uh, it is going to be the dying laps that are going to show some true pace between these back markers compared to the front three. And while those back markers, the fresh boots are battling out right now. Jacob Eagle, dancers in the mix, all on the back of Jacob the slowest. One of these drivers has a check in. It is a six second gap to Eagle because Eagle is at six and Coke is at 12. That is going to be tight. But here we are, the final lap of the Brazilian Grand Prix. Carlos, Tuguan, two Acti are top running away. It is these three still in the championship fight. Let's see if these drivers can show forth their speed right here, right now. As everything is going to be out for this final lap. Biggles, what do you think? He is pushing him through the turns. He's going to be on the outside, so it's going to be difficult. But can he make it work? He's, they are both screaming low on the But the P1 is up for grabs here. But will that DRS activation come in time? I don't think so. I think Carlos is covered off. And Carlos is going to win the Brazilian Grand Prix. What a race indeed. All the way down.